evening everyone. Today's tutorial will be on making jesses. Now the list of equipment that you need to make jesses is thankfully small. We'll need some jesse grease. This, in this case it's nurture seal. A good leather punch. Okay. A good straight edge. Now you can also use in addition to uh, a straight edge knife like this you could use some really sharp scissors that are more than strong enough to go through, say, medium weight leather like this. Okay. And finally, we need a good fine tip pen. It's going to leave a nice, clear, easy to see line. And um, like I say, the straight edge, very important. Uh, nice and straight. Okay. Right. So we're going to make. Um, Jesses to go with some new anklets for Scirocco and um, the process is not difficult it just takes a little patience right so first things first I I know that I like to have about say 28 centimeters of, of Jesse length because by the time I folded down part of it for a knurl and uh, trimmed off an end for a point I'm just about sort of in the optimal length for having them on the glove when there's no leash or swivel involved. So 28 centimeters roughly equates to about 10 and a half inches. There was. All right. So first of all, what I want to do is mark off 28 centimeters. I'm going to do that in a couple of places to bring it straight across. I like these to be about 12 millimeters wide for my falcons, in this case Halo and Chiraco. And um, I make them slightly wider for our big red tail Mojave, uh, let's say about 14 millimeters. So like say about half an inch and slightly more than half an inch respectively. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is Measure that out. So there's a centimeter right there. And ideally, you want to be making sure that you're able to see all of them. I can sort of check my math again. There's an old adage about measure twice, cut once. And once it's something as valuable as your leather, you don't want to be making needless mistakes. Now, something that you can do if you want to kind of do this in a fashion, sort of doing yourself a solid for down the road is once you get your hide, if you want to designate a piece of it particularly to Jess's, then you take a chunk and measure off a whole bunch, right? And then just cut off a couple at a time. If you've only got one bird or say a couple of birds, then you're just measuring off the ones or cutting off the ones that you've already pre-measured, right? Um, I should take my own advice and do this. But, uh, but it's something that you can certainly do, saves you a bit of time. Hi Sam, how are you doing? Okie dokie, what I want to do is find that line. Now really, really be careful when you're using something like this. I'm not trying to be, you know, sort of your grandma harping at you here. Uh, far from it. Having experienced how quickly one of these can cut you, it's not something I would like anyone else to go through. So be mindful when you're using this. So, 
nice and straight. There's just a little barb of leather here that I'll just trim off real carefully. Okay, so there we go. We've got the raw jesse in raw form. All right. So now the next thing that I can do before I grease these guys up is I can create the points at the end while there's no jesse grease on the leather which makes it a little bit hard to draw with. Okay. So how far up do I want these to be? Now if I'm thinking about where the point of this jesse is going to be, it's going to be right about there. Right? We're almost dead center there. So I can sort of say to myself, okay, well, how about uh, a centimeter? How, how far up is that going to be? That's going to be there. That's not long enough of a point. But maybe a centimeter and a half, I can make myself a measuring point. Now, let's see. Okay, and then I can just take and go point to point, right? Right, and then using my ruler again, a nice straight edge. Now we can cheat, cheat this. There's no rules. Uh, the only one I'm aware of is don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> That's a different topic, right? But I mean, for the practice, see? Just try not to cover it in shadow too, too much. Okay. Right. There's the middle. In order to create the knurl, the knurl, K-N-U-R-L, the knot at the end of your jesses, you're going to have to fold this once, twice, three times. Okay. So what you'll have is four layers of leather. Now the trick here is that you want to cut the hole right in the middle of this knurl. Um, I have purchased ones at non-economical prices, let's put it in those terms, only to find that I've had a hole that's going off on an angle. So I've got this, this very, very thin layer of, le of leather between the hole and the side of the neural, where the rest of the jesse comes through. So again, we don't have to rush. Let's do it right, right? So how do we do this? So we're going to find the middle of the neural, right? We can take some time, we can look and see is it slid on me while I was transferring it under. Can I wiggle it over here a little bit? Take a good look. And we can see from there that it's nicely centered in the middle, right? And then just give it a good squeeze. A bit of a little bit of a twist. Because sometimes it doesn't quite cut through. Here we go, right? Let's do this again. But pretty soon what you're going to find is after you've made these a bunch of times, you're just going to know by eyeballing it, right? You're going to know that looks right. That looks like familiar distance. So there we go again. We've got the four layers, all right? And I'm just going to center into, and I can use the tool to help me a little bit, to 
center it a little bit. Cool. So we got that part done. So now what? Now what I can do is I can do myself a solid and I can grease these up, which makes the next step really easy. Or I can do this dry. Now what I personally prefer to do is grease them up now. All right. You can see this container of Nurture Seal this has seen better days. <laughs> Right? And I want to make sure I get this front and back all the way down. Uh, best practice when you've got these on your feathered one. And guilty as charged, I don't always get to it as often as I'd like. But every time they even just look dry, take them off one at a time and grease them up. So once I get everything pulled back into place. I want to take and I can make this again easy on myself a little bit by sort of pinching the end of the jesse like a piece of New York pizza which makes it easier to thread through and really seat that knot. Right. There we go. I mean, be generous with this. It's going to soak in. You can see how the difference, this one that I've just applied it to, and how the Jesse Grease is soaked right into the leather already. Because it's so dry, right? All right. Okay, there we go. There they are. So now, all I have left to do, because these are going to be Muse Jessies, is cut a small slit near the end of this. We don't want it too close to the point because of course this can tear where the leather is, where there's less of it, right? But we don't want it up too high either. So how do we go about doing that? Now you can measure these out so that they're roughly a centimeter apart. So where do I want the first one? Well, where these two angles are toward the end of the jesse, right? I can look to the middle and I can say I want it just north of where those are. And then I can take and I can measure roughly a centimeter and then just a little bit more there. Now, why am I doing that? I've got a little trick to share with you. So we're gonna go to the smallest punch on the hole punch, which is that one right there. Okay. And I'm going to punch those spots out. So, what's the benefit of that? Well, let me show you. So, we're going to turn the straight edge over. I'm going to cut halfway down from the one hole toward the middle and then I'll cut halfway up from the other hole toward the middle. Okay. And this ensures that I don't accidentally cut too far and slip right down the middle of my brand new Jesse. Ta-da! A brand new pair of Jessies that are ready to go on Chiraco. Now remember again guys, these are Muse Jesses that I've just made. If I was making flying Jessies, I'd do every single step the exact same way, but instead of making a little slit, I would just make that one little hole right there. Just gives you something that when they're, they're sitting there on your glove, you've got something to hang on to as you take one out put back their Muse Jesses one at a time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be putting these on and going to bed, so. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, she keeps flying around the room, guys. I mean, it's disturbing. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all for Joe, for this channel, anything at all, please leave it below. We will get back to you. We love the questions. Yes. Please subscribe. We love subscribers around here. You Absolutely. guys are flooding in and it's amazing. Yes. Uh, stay tuned. We have a very cool, special um, change of equipment coming along shortly. Hit so, the like and yeah. hit the notification bell. Dong. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.